So, as I told you, our lesson today is catalysis. So, I hope you are uh, seeing the screen. Catalysis to the here and they has Are you seeing the note screen over here? Yes, sir. OK, catalysis. Shall we start the lesson? Everybody. OK, sir. OK. Uh, अब यार catalysis में जाएं अब catalyst वाले को क्यों catalyst को types और कौन-कौन से वस्तु सब अने how does catalyst catalyst work what are the characteristics of catalysis and the theories of catalysis okay uh, intermediate compound formation product formation theory and uh, adsorption theory these we will study and finally we will uh, mention some uh, applications of catalysis. OK, so first let's start with this. What is catalysis? You know, catalysis is the process of using catalyst in a chemical reaction so as to alter or change the rate of chemical reaction. It's, it is the process of using catalyst to alter the rate of chemical reactions. It plays fundamental role in man manufacture of a vast majority of chemicals and industrial materials. Chemicals, industrial materials, are manufacturing, ma, uh, catalysis, uh, catalysis, widely used process. So, okay, using catalyst, uh, the you know the yield of the manufactured products can be um, better. Yield of the product can be obtained in less time. Okay, and it increases the efficiency of reactions. So, catalyst, bani kuch nahi kiya the classical concept of Borzelius mentions, Borzelius first mentioned that catalyst is the substance that is used to increase the rate of reaction. Uh, but nowadays, catalyst refers to any substance used along with reactants to alter the rate of reaction. Normally, we understand that catalyst increases the rate of reaction, but uh, there is negative catalysis also that decreases the rate of reaction. So the catalyst can be uh, uh, defined as any substance that is used along with the reactants to alter or to change the rate of reaction that remains regenerated or unchanged at the end of reaction. It can be involved in reaction, but at the end of reaction it is uh, regenerated in unchanged state as it is regenerated as it is. OK, so catalysis involves the use of very small amount of catalyst that is enough to alter the rate of reaction. Catalyst one with the effective ones are efficient ones are specific ones. At a particular reaction, a particular catalyst is going to be done. I know at a particular catalyst, a particular reaction like a function. Garsa. OK, Ra, uh, efficient ones are one of the things that a small amount of catalyst can bring about the catalysis of use uh, the, uh, amount of reactants to be converted into the product. So a catalysis is specific to a characteristic chemical reaction. So the types of catalysis, basically we categorize it into two types, positive catalysis and negative catalysis. Positive catalysis on a go, uh, thank you, the, it is the process of using the positive catalyst. Uh, you know that increases the rate of reaction. Only rate of reaction is a positive catalyst. Yes. OK, so. Ani. <coughs> uh, only rate of reaction increase. I am a positive catalyst one the process of using positive catalyst to increase the rate of reaction is called positive catalysis. A positive catalyst, you know, it is a function. I am saying catalyst use activation energy. 
त्यो भन्दा कम गराइदिन्छ पोजिटिभ क्याटालिस्टले कुनै रिएक्सन को एक्टिभेसन इनर्जी चाहिँ घटाइदिन्छ यसको अर्थ के छ सो युजिङ क्याटालिस्ट लेस अमाउन्ट अफ एनर्जी विल बी सफिसियन्ट सो एज टु कन्भर्ट द रिएक्टेन्ट्स इन्टु प्रोडक्ट्स ओके एन्ड टोटल थ्रेसहोल्ड इनर्जी चाहिँ घटाइदिन्छ थ्रेसहोल्ड इनर्जी भनेको के तिमीहरूलाई थाहा छ वेदर अ रिएक्सन इज एक्जोथर्मिक अर इन्डोथर्मिक इट क्या इट क्यान बी कन्भर्टेड इन्टु प्रोडक्ट ओन्ली थ्रू द फर्मेसन अफ एन अनस्टेबल इन्टरमिडिएट ओके एन्ड द टोटल इनर्जी कन्टेन्ट अफ द अनस्टेबल इन्टरमिडिएट इज कल्ड थ्रेसहोल्ड इनर्जी त्यो इन्टरमिडिएटको जसलाई हामी एक्टिवेस्ट एक्टिभेटेड कम्प्लेक्स भन्छौँ एक्टिवेटेड कम्प्लेक्सको टोटल इनर्जी कन्टेन्टलाई थ्रेसहोल्ड इनर्जी भनिन्छ अनि एक्टिवेटेड कम्प्लेक्सको इनर्जी माइनस रिएक्टेन्ट्सको पोटेन्सियल इनर्जी द्याट डिफ्रेन्स इज कल्ड इज कल्ड एक्टिभेसन इनर्जी ओके इन अदर वर्ड्स एक्टिभेसन इनर्जी इज द मिनिमम एमाउन्ट अफ एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड टु बी एब्जर्व बाई द रिएक्टेन्ट्स सो द्याट इट क्यान फर्म द एक्टिवेटेड कम्प्लेक्स ओके and then it can, can get converted into the product okay tyo sa hera ta yo figure ma hera timerle catalyst use nagarda kheri to yo energy profile chai yesto cha this one okay energy profile chai high cha activated complex ani hamle catalyst use gare pachi chai catalyst use gare pachi ko chai ke cha ta क्याटलिस्ट युज कर जो एक्टिवेटेड बनने जो एक्टिवेटेड कम्प्लेक्स छेस को थ्रेस होल्ड इनर्जी चाहिए लो छके राइट सो द एक्टिवेसन इनर्जी चाहे डिक्रीज करा सो कैटलिस्ट डिक्रिजेस द एक्टिवेसन इनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फर द रिएक्शन ओके सो कैटलिस्ट लोअर्स द एक्टिवेसन इनर्जी अफ केमिकल रिएक्शन बाय प्रोवाइडिंग अ न्यू पाथवे or mechanism with a reaction intermediate with lower threshold energy so in this process the catalyst itself is involved with higher affinity catalyst itself is involved with higher affinity towards the reactants to form the unstable intermediate from which the catalyst can be recovered with the formation of final product esma ki huncha ta पहले कैटलिस्ट ने ना रिएक्टेन्ट रिएक्शन कर रिएक्टेन्ट रिएक्शन करनस्टेबल इंटरमिडिएट प्रडक्ट बनाऊँ अभी तो इंटरमिडिएट प्रडक्ट बा फाइनल प्रडक्ट रिकवर होके सो एंड दैट मिन्स वाट यूजिंग कैटलिस्ट देर इज चेंज इन मेकानिजम और पाथवे अफ रिएक्शन एंड फर द कैटलाइज पाथवे द एक्टिवेटेड कम्प्लेक्स और द इंटरमिडिएट फर्म एज लेस Uh, total energy or threshold energy therefore there will be decrease in activation energy of the reaction and as there is decrease in activation energy okay more reactant molecules will have sufficient energy so as to get converted into the product so the rate of reaction increases okay tei kura cha yaha lekheko cha jastai consider the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide at room temperature in the absence of catalyst its activation energy is 76 किलो जूल पर मोल एंड द रिएक्शन इज रेदर स्लो ओके 76 किलो जूल पर मोल ये जी ये एक्टिवेशन ये यहाँ बट यहाँसम आईन ये टोटल इनर्जी एब्जर्ब हो बट वेन स्मल एमाउंट अफ आयोडिन इज एडेड इन दिस रिएक्शन ओके विथ हाइड्रोजन पेरोक्साइड देन एक्टिवेशन इनर्जी डिक्रिजेज टू फिफ्टी सेवेन किलो जूल पर मोल 76 सिक्स बट फिफ्टी सेवेन में झर्स एंड द ग्रेटर फ्रैक्शन अफ रिएक्टेड मलिक्यूल्स एक्टिवेशन इनर्जी घटने बिंदी के होने भाई मोर नंबर अफ रिएक्टेड मलिक्यूल्स और द ग्रेटर फ्रैक्शन अफ रिएक्टेड मलिक्यूल्स कैन हेव सफिशियंट एमाउंट अफ काइनेटिक इनर्जी टू ओवरकम दिस लो इनर्जी बैरियर एंड दैट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द प्रोडक्ट इट मीन्स देर इज इंक्रीज इन रेट अफ रिएक्शन यो इनर्जी प्रोफाइल फिगर में देखा यो एक्जोथर्मिक रिएक्शन को लगी कंसिडर कर बनाए बट वेदर अ रिएक्शन इज एक्जोथर्मिक और इंडोथर्मिक यू नो द रिएक्टेड मलिक्यूल्स हेव टू एब्जर्ब अ सर्टेन एमाउंट अफ एनर्जी सो एज टू फर्म द एक्टिवेटेड कम्प्लेक्स यू नो फर एक्जोथर्मिक रिएक्शन द टोटल इनर्जी अफ प्रोडक्ट विल बी लेस दैन द इनर्जी अफ रिएक्टेन्स देर फोर सम इनर्जी इज रिलीज 
energy released is equal to the energy of product minus energy of reactants. Okay. That corresponds to delta G gives free energy change. Hey. Total energy released got the answer. Delta G is an equal answer. Hey. Delta G equals delta G or uh, you know gives free energy. That is the total energy stored in a system. The decrease in which is equal to the uh, total net work done, useful work done by the system. Okay, accordingly, the energy liberated is equal to delta G. Some other uh, examples of positive catalysis you can observe here. Just the okay, amyl aryl hydrogen peroxide to decomposition that is positively catalyzed by iodine. Similarly, decomposition of potassium chlorate that is catalyzed by MnO2 and iron and molybdenum. Iron catalyst in the presence of molybdenum promoter. Okay, this uh, 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 catalyst and okay, you know it accelerates the uh, reaction of formation of ammonia. Similarly, hydrogen peroxide decomposition life iodine just the platinum lipani positively catalyzed garsa. Ammonia oxidation, catalytic oxidation of ammonia to give nitric oxide that is catalyzed by platinum gauze. Uh, reaction of carbon monoxide uh, or oxidation of carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide that is catalyzed by nitric oxide and the uh, hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay, uh, that is catalyzed by nickel catalyst at higher temperature okay at about 200 degree celsius so these are some examples of positive catalysis now see negative catalysis our your positive catalysis substance which decreases the speed or rate of reaction is called negative catalyst or inhibitor or retarder and the phenomenon is called negative catalysis so some examples have been given here, like oxidation of chloroform with, is negatively catalyzed. The rate is decreased by, by using ethanol. Uh, hydrogen peroxide decomposition is it is retarded uh, by glycerin. The rate of oxidation of sodium thiosulfate in sulfite into so, uh, sodium sulfite, not thiosulfate, sodium sulfite into sodium sulfate that is retarded by using ethanol. Similarly, phosphoric acid is negative catalyst okay, uh, for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. And petroleum fuel plus oxygen, if you use TEL, tetraethyl lead as anti-knocking agent, then its rate of reaction decreases. There will be a smooth combustion. So in negative catalysis, the activation energy in negatively catalyzed path is more than in uncatalyzed path. Okay, I'm the energy profile figure ma diagram my ego. Catalyst use karda kere is anki on the uh, threshold in uh, kere intermediate product or activated complex ko threshold energy bar so. Tara, uh, you negative catalysis ma janki on so the kere negative catalysis ma janki te e agi janki wago theo kere. Uh, positive catalysis ma, uh, chai, catalytic path ma chai, jun, uh, activated complex one so this threshold energy chai, God sa, bonne hoy na God sa. This baare activated in, activation energy chai, God sa. Tora negative catalysis ma chai, kya onza da? Catalyzed path ko activated in, complex ko energy chai, God sa ke. So there is increase in activation energy. That means and the uh, number or fraction of reactant molecules getting converted into the product decreases. Right? So therefore the rate of reaction decreases. Okay. So now our uh, alikati terms are saying poisons one catalyst poisons one in certain substances like arsenic, cobalt, if present in the along with the reactants, uh, lowers the activity of the catalyst and these substances are called catalytic poisons in you know, like poisons or catalytic poisons one so this process is called catalytic poisoning and catalytic promoter one 
क्याटलिस्ट संगसंगे यूज कर सब्सटेन्स जल्द कैटलिस्ट को एक्टिविटी बढ़ाई दी कैटलिस्ट कैटलाइटिक प्रमोटर भाई फर एक्जापल मोलिपडेनम स्पेशली दैट इज यूज एलंग विथ आइरन कैटलिस्ट इन द मेनुफैक्चर अफ एमोनिया बाई हेवर्स प्रोसेस अब अर्क ऑटो कैटलाइसि व्हाट इज ऑटो कैटलाइसि यू सी कुने कुने रिएक्शन में के होता जो प्रडक्ट भन अफ द प्रडक्ट्स इट सेल्फ बिहेव एट द कैटलिस्ट एंड सच रिएक्शन इज कल्ड पोजिटिव कैटलाइसि दिस फेनोमेन इज कल्ड पोजिटिव कैटलाइसि ओके सो फर एक्जापल इफ यू कंसिडर द रिएक्शन अफ अक्सिडेशन अफ पोटासिम पर मैंगनेट रिडक्शन अफ पोटासिम पर मैंगनेट बाई अक्जालिक एसिड ओके देन दैट फर्म्स के टू एसओ फोर एम एन एसओ फोर एस टू सीओ टू इन दिस रिएक्शन पोटासिम पर मैंगनेट इज रिड्यूस्ड इन टू मैंगनेट सल्फेट एंड अक्जालिक एसिड इज अक्सिडाइज इन टू कार्बन डाइअक्साइड इज एंड इट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शन and the one of the products uh, itself behaves as a catalyst in this case manganese sulfate that is produced in the reaction behaves as catalyst and therefore uh, as the reaction proceeds more and more amount of the product is formed okay uh, and the rate of reaction goes on increasing due to the catalytic effect of one of the products over here okay This phenomenon is called auto catalysis. All right. Take a look at your lehigo sir. Catalysts are generally foreign substances, but sometimes one of the products formed in a reaction can act as a catalyst. That is, it can increase the rate of reaction. One of the products itself, okay, can increase the rate of reaction. Such a catalyst is called auto catalyst, and the phenomenon is called auto catalysis. An example of auto catalysis is when oxalic acid is treated with potassium permanganate in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid. The color of potassium permanganate first slowly fades, and then it fades faster due to the formation of manganese ions, which behave as catalyst. The manganese ions or manganese sulfate that formed as one of the products that behaves as catalyst, and the rate of reaction goes on increasing. Thus, in auto catalysis, one of the products of the reaction acts as a catalyst. Okay, you yeah, or go kick it. Oh, Baba, so you ignore that, right? So, auto catalytic reactions are generally very slow at the starting of the reaction. Suru ma, so in auto catalytic reaction or even slow onsa, but as the reaction continues, its rate increases because the product. Uh, goes on increasing the amount of product goes on increasing a set of chemical reactions can be said to be collectively auto catalytic if a number of these reactions produce uh, as reaction um, products which have the ability to catalyze for uh, enough of the other reactions that the entire set of chemical reaction is self sustaining at a given amount of energy and food molecules is an applicable part or ma say गिवन एमाउंट अफ एनर्जी फूड मलिक्यूल्स को केस में एप्लाई होता सो वन अफ द प्रडक्ट्स इट सेल्फ बिहेव एज अ कैटलिस्ट ओके दैट हेज एनफ कैटलाइटिक एक्टिविटी सो अ केमिकल रिएक्शन कैन अंडर गो अटो कैटलाइसि इफ ओनली द रिएक्शन Product is itself the catalyst for that reaction. एक बार दो रिएक्शन है, नया एक बार था ही ना. That's why there is no reactant catalysis and solvent catalysis. Solvent reactant catalysis को ये पढ़ देना यार ना. अभी अली एडिशनल करा रही था. अब ये रहता. इसको चाहिए energy profile. जो जो इसको केरे if you draw the concentration of the reactant, concentration of the catalyst. Okay. That is one of the products, okay, versus time. Hey, Jun product le chahi catalyst to kam garish gari ko sa. Tes ko concentration lai chahi thi mere le y axis mera akhe ra. Time lai x axis mera akhe ra plot banana wani chahi is toh aunsa ke. Suru ma chahi ki aunsa da. The for the auto catalytic reaction, the um, rate of reaction is too slow in the beginning. But as the 
uh, as the time goes on, OK, the rate of reaction increases because there is increase in concentration of uh, the concentration of the catalyst. That is one of the products formed in the reaction. OK, so your concentration of MnO4 minus one, rate lehe vani onsa. You can write rate against time. Rate of reaction on in y axis and time in the x axis. In the beginning, the rate of reaction is too slow, very low. And as the time goes on, concentration of power manganate ion that acts as catalyst goes on increasing and the rate of reaction also increases. And at the end of reaction, there will be no more formation of uh, power manganate ions as the reaction uh, reaches to completion and the rate of reaction will be will be steady and uh, that will be almost constant at the end. So it follows this curve. When we plot concentration of uh, um, uh, catalytic product or rate of reaction in the y axis and time in the x axis. So other examples of autocatalysis are given below. See these examples, right? Your examples are here. Uh, you say ethyl acetate ester hydrolysis, and copper or nitric acid reaction, ma pahile copper nit nitric oxide one also. And in second phase, ma, say you this NO one goes that dissolves in water to give NO2 at the side product, and that acts as the autocatalyst. NO. Uh, NO2 NO2 is a catalyst to come. That is autocatalysis. Arsenic hydride could decomposition. The free arsenic formed by the decomposition of arsine or ASS3 that behaves as autocatalysis. Reactions that proceed on arsenic amount for the answer. AS product amount for the answer. This catalytic activity legal reaction to rate than for the answer. Is autocatalytic reaction. Ho. Second, what is it? What is it? NO one. So, NO one. If it is NO hydrolysis or NO two one. So, the NO two will get that carry reaction. Co rate say more than that. So, because NO two behaves as autocatalyst in this case. Yes, first reaction. What is it? What is it? Ethyl acetate co hydrolysis. And the acetic acid one. So, your acetic acid will autocatalyst to come. Got so that has been written over here. See it. Uh, now see what are homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis. You have a catalyst uh, reaction. Supply reactant or product are a catalyst. Reactants are products are a catalyst. Supply out of phase much have any tell homogeneous catalysis one inch. Okay, Rajay, the reactant product of a catalyst made at least out of. Come to my out of saying different phase much have any that is called heterogeneous catalysis. Okay, you uh, just understand this thing. When the reactants and the catalyst are in the same phase, liquid or gas, the process is said to be homogeneous. Right? Yeah, solid homogeneous away. Right? The following are some of the examples of homogeneous catalysis, like oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide, nitric oxide gas, behaves as catalyst. In this reaction, all are gases. Do it a reactant or a gas, a product when gas, a Catalyst when gas, so it is homogeneous catalysis. Similarly, you see hydrolysis of methyl acetate. Methyl acetate ko hydrolysis consider gara. Esma acetic acid in methyl alcohol bansa in your aqueous phase liquid vayale. Ani reactants are pani liquid. Ani yojun catalyst sa SCL amily use gare ko yopani liquid. All are in liquid phase. Okay, so that is catalyst homogeneous catalysis. The catalytic process in which the reactants and the catalyst are in different phases is known as heterogeneous catalysis. The reactant products are a catalyst. At least in different phase much have a heterogeneous catalysis. Some examples of heterogeneous catalysis are given below, like oxidation of sulfur dioxide into trioxide, in which SO2 and SO3 reactant and product are gases, but the catalyst is solid. So it is heterogeneous catalysis. If you consider the next, like formation of ammonia by 
the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen. All our gases, nitrogen, hydrogen, reactants, ammonia, gas, product, and they are all our gases, but iron catalyst is in solid state, so it is also heterogeneous catalysis. Now let's see general characteristics of catalysis. A catalyst remains unchanged in mass and chemical composition at the end of reaction. Okay. Reaction re catalyzed catalyst to amount change on the chemical composition K change on the it remains unchanged or regenerated as it is at the end of reaction. And uh, as you know, a small quantity of catalyst is generally sufficient to catalyze almost unlimited reactions. So that means catalyst is very efficient. Okay. Uh, and for example, in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, one gram of colloidal platinum can catalyze 10 liters of hydrogen peroxide. So a small amount of catalyst is sufficient. In friedel crafts reaction, N hydrous aluminum chloride is required in a relatively large amount to the extent of 30% of mass of benzene. Yes, aluminum chloride is only body change your reaction. But in comparison to the reactants, the catalyst is always used in less amount. Okay, so uh, it is, of course, if, if efficient in nature. Number three, catalyst cannot initiate the reaction. The function of catalyst is to alter the speed of the reaction rather than to start it. Catalyst le reaction start karne manna bani ki ho Ele, uh, reaction ko rate lai chahi pada ho. The catalyst is generally specific in nature. A substance which acts as a catalyst for a particular reaction fails to catalyze the other, catalyze the other reaction. Different catalysts for the same reactant may be for uh, may give different products. Just the other, just the uh, ethyl alcohol C2H5OH ma amle aluminium oxide Al2O3 rahe wani dehydration onsa. Aiy, ille chahi ethene ra water banasa. Tar desma copper rahe wani chahi dehydrogenation onsa. Aiy, ra ille chahi kya garsa da. CH3, CHO plus S2. LHA hydrogen atoms are copper rather than Al2O3 rather than water atoms. Same reactant, different products are manga because we have used different catalysts. Similarly, see the case of formic acid. Formic acid when it is treated with uh, copper turnings, okay, it gives CO2 and S2. And but with Al2O3, it gives CO and H2O. Okay, math is saying copper has the dehydrogenation on so any taller water has the heritage. Kere Al2O3 has the heritage dehydration on so. Okay, the case is different over here. Math is saying that you ethyl alcohol case was saying Al2O3 le dehydration copper le dehydro. That has been just opposite. The same catalyst in one case we have said the dehydrating agent. In another case it we have said the dehydrogenating agent. Okay. So that means the catalyst is specific. A catalyst is specific for a particular reaction. A specific means that works uh, in a fixed way for a particular reaction. Okay. So next uh, proper uh, feature characteristic of catalysis, the catalyst cannot change the position of equilibrium. The catalyst catalyzes both the forward and backward reaction to the same extent in a reversible reaction and thus uh, have no effect on equilibrium constant. Just say you can you can just observe in the beginning. You would like to hear in the beginning the rate of forward reaction is maximum and the rate of backward reaction is almost zero that is zero because the reaction has not yet started suru ma chai forward reaction ko rate maximum huncha backward reaction ko rate chai ke huncha ta minimum almost that is zero because it is just at time zero okay and as the time goes on time proceeds what happens the rate of forward reaction decreases 
and the rate of backward reaction increases. Right? Product or bandai bandai jansa, ani for backward reaction ko lagi to product one ke kio that that is the that is the reactants or the backward reaction. Okay, ani backward reaction ko rate sahi bardai bardai jansa. Forward reaction ko rate sahi gardai gardai jansa. And at this at a certain time, a certain point corresponding to let's say time t, the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction become equal. And this is the condition of equilibrium. You know this thing, right? Thus, the catalyst used nagar da kheri chahi. Equilibrium maintain unna lagne time chahi and the T maano. Tara catalyst used gar da kheri chahi ki on chahi. Catalyst te pani yehi phenomenon, phenomenon la change garne hoi na. Tara chahi tiyo equilibrium establish unna lagne time chahi ga tai din chahi. Catalyst used gar da kheri pani unne ta yote kura ho. Forward reaction go rate chahi gar da jane ho. Backward reaction ko rate chahi bar da jane ho. But at less time, the equilibrium is established. That means using catalyst, the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction become equal in less time. Okay, and that means the equilibrium is, is established faster. So this is the effect of catalysis in reversible reactions. Right? What are the characteristics of catalysis? Now the last topic in this unit is theories of catalysis. There are two main theories to, of catalysis. One is intermediate compound formation theory and another is adsorption theory. Intermediate compound formation theory applies to homogeneous catalytic reactions mainly and the adsorption theory applies to heterogeneous catalytic reaction. Lyra. Intermediate compound formation theory. Yes, according to this theory, the catalyst first forms an intermediate compound with one of the reactants. Catalyst le kune yoda reactants na reaction garera. Chahi kune intermediate compound banausa. This compound formed is uh, with less energy consumption than needed for the actual reaction. Actual reaction ko lagi uh, chahi ne banda kam energy consume garera ban chahiyo. The intermediate compound being unstable combines with other reactant. And you unstable compound intermediately, or the reactants are combined with the product. And the catalyst is regenerated. Just the test ortho. Suppose the reaction is to give AB by the reaction of A and B. A and B ko reaction is AB. What is the reaction? What is the reaction? C is catalyst function. Or according to this theory, uh, intermediate compound formation theory, what happens? First, one of the reactants A reacts with the catalyst C to give AC. That AC is intermediate, and that intermediate reacts with another product and sorry, another reactant B. That intermediate reacts with another reactant B to give the final product AB, and the catalyst C is regenerated. Okay. Many catalytic reactions can be explained on the basis of this theory. For example, the catalytic oxidation of SO2 into SO3 in the lead chamber process of manufacture of sulfuric acid. So, this is the catalyst. This catalyst. This NO, nitric oxide catalyst. This is oxygen reaction. Oxygen is one of the reactants. This is reaction. NO2 is intermediate compound. And NO2 is an orco reactant, SO2 is a reaction. Garera. SO3 final product one also. And the NO catalyst is regenerated. NO catalyst is regenerated. So, <coughs> just the Amle Kere Mileti Mir Lichenity already organic chemistry. Ma, Padana Keripani Pane. I know. So, if you consider dehydration of ethyl alcohol by conch sulfuric acid, what will happen? So, uh, ethyl alcohol, CH3, CH2OH, reacts with conch sulfuric acid to give ethyl hydrogen sulfate as the intermediate product. And from that intermediate product, water is eliminated to give the final product. That is also an example of intermediate product formation theory of catalysis. Now, see the last one is adsorption theory. 
This theory explains the mechanism of heterogeneous catalysis. Here the catalyst functions by adsorption of the reacting molecules on its surface. In general, there are four steps involved in heterogeneous catalysis. Foilu steps in case of the adsorption of reactant molecules. Reactant molecules are good adsorption. Just the here the A or B reaction got it. L is a C or D one on for nature. Okay. All right. So, foil key on the A, B. A, B is a reactant molecule. Sir, I'm saying adsorb on sir. Okay. So this is the first step, adsorption of reactant molecules. The reactant molecules A and B strike the surface of catalyst. They are held up at the surface by weak van der Waals forces or the by partial chemical bonds. The reactants A and B are adsorbed on the surface of catalyst by a weak van der Waals forces. Weak van der Waals forces, what does it Catalyst to surface, what does Reactant molecules, what does Adsorption, first step. Second is formation of activated complex. The particles of the reactants as sent to one another join to form an intermediate complex AB. The activated complex is unstable. The connect on the activated complex AB connect on the A B connect on the activated complex one also. Okay. And the Third step is decomposition of the activated complex. The activated complex breaks to form the products C and D. The separated particles of the products hold to the catalyst surface uh, by partial chemical bonds. And the decomposition on the decomposition by the same key on the product or C or D. Finally, the catalyst surface but the C or D is dissolved on the the amount of shooting and is here at the independent on the catalyst shooting okay so these are the steps involved in adsorption uh, theory okay uh, it, it steps involved in catalysis according to adsorption theory pilot and reactant molecules are a or b catalyst to surface much i adsorb on some this position a or b connect virus activated complex one also this position activated complex lay Naya product or one also C or D, that your product or is still they are in contact with the surface of catalyst. And finally, the catalyst and the products are detached from the catalyst. Uh, there is uh, formation of products and catalyst is in re regenerated unchanged. Okay, desorption of products one is the final step like chain. Okay? The steps involved in hydrogenation of ethene in the presence of nickel catalyst, for example, that is shown here. Lawyer, Poyle saying, I'm going to add up some theory. What happens over here in this reaction uh, of uh, hydrogenation of ethene to give ethene by the nickel catalyst? I is my saying, Poyle is step my key on the adsorption of hydrogen on nickel surface. Nickel surface, ma. You nickel bio, nickel one ago catalyst, test surface by hydrogen absorbance, adsorbance. This position you adsorbance, you dotted line with the high good thing, half constructed bones are who, or you think you want to completely formed uh, adsorbed statement in the answer. This was the formation of activated complex with ethene. This was ethene, some of the activated complex one also that. Adsorbed product combines with ethene to give the activated product. Aye, and ethene sanga jai activated complex banana da kiri. Yo jen solid bond sa yo jai kiyon zada half destroyed form ma jan sa. And yo carbon hydrogen bond sa half constructed form ma jan sa. And decomposition of activated complex. Aw yo activated complex the decomposition sa. Yaha bata jai ethene molecule baniyo. Ethene molecule baniyo. And nickel jai kiyon zada chutiyo. Nickel catalyst should you. Hey? So these, these are the steps involved in adsorption theory. Okay, uh, involved in catalysis according to adsorption theory. Hey? Or this, uh, these are the steps involved in um, heterogeneous catalysis. Hey? Hey, the example there is explain. Hey, the, just say you ethene lie 
इथेन ले हाइड्रोजन सँग रिएक्सन गर्दा खेरि निकेल क्याटलिस्ट को प्रेजेन्स मा इथेन बनाउँछ पहिले चाहिँ यो के रे इथेन मा इथेन चाहिँ निकेल क्याटलिस्ट को सर्फेस मा गएर एब्जर्ब हुन्छ अनि त्यसरी चाहिँ एक्टिभेटेड कम्प्लेक्स बनाउँछ के रे एब्जर्ब हुन्छ अनि त्यो एब्जर्ब भइसकेपछि त्यसले इथेन सँग कम्बाइन गरेर अर्को रिएक्टेन्ट सँग कम्बाइन गरेर एक्टिभेटेड कम्प्लेक्स बनाउँछ अनि एक्टिभेटेड कम्प्लेक्स बाट चाहिँ डिजर्बसन हुन्छ त्यहाँ बाट चाहिँ के रे क्याटलिस्ट क्याटलिस्ट छुट्टिन्छ अनि त्यो क्याटलिस्ट सँग कम्बाइन भइराखेको हाइड्रोजन चाहिँ इथेन सँग आउँछ र फाइनल प्रोडक्ट बनाउँछ ओके सो दिज आर द स्टेप्स इन्भल्भ इन दिस क्याटलाइसिस मेकानिजम अफ क्याटलाइसिस यही दुईटा हो हामीले पढ्नु पर्ने न फाइनली एप्लिकेसन्स अफ क्याटलाइसिस भन्ने छ सो फाइनली डिभाइडेड आइरन क्याटलिस्ट एन्ड मोलिबडेनम प्रमोटर इन हेवर्स प्रोसेस जस्ट एज सम एक्जाम्पल्स यू स्टेट यू गो अन सिइङ दिस प्लेटिनाइज्ड आस्बेस्टस क्याटलिस्ट इन वोस्टवाल्स प्रोसेस फर म्यानुफ्याक्चर अफ नाइट्रिक एसिड यू नो नाइट्रिक अक्साइड क्याटलिस्ट इज युज्ड इन लीड च्याम्बर प्रोसेस फर म्यानुफ्याक्चर अफ सल्फ्युरिक एसिड प्लेटिनाइज्ड आस्बेस्टस अस भेन अर भेनेडियम पेंटोक्साइड क्याटलिस्ट इज युज्ड इन कन्ट्याक्ट प्रोसेस फर म्यानुफ्याक्चर अफ सल्फ्युरिक एसिड क्यूप्रिक क्लोराइड क्याटलिस्ट इज युज्ड इन डेकन्स प्रोसेस फर म्यानुफ्याक्चर अफ क्लोरिन जस्ट यो एक्जाम्पल्सहरू चाहिँ हेर्ने है फेरिक अक्साइड क्याटलिस्ट एन्ड क्रोमिक अक्साइड एज प्रमोटर इन बोस्ट प्रोसेस फर म्यानुफ्याक्चर अफ हाइड्रोजन फाइनली डिभाइडेड निकेल क्याटलिस्ट इन हाइड्रोजिनेसन अफ भेजिटेबल ओइल्स ओके सिमिलरली फेरिक अक्साइड क्याटलिस्ट इन बर्जिस प्रोसेस फर सिन्थेस अफ पेट्रोल फ्रम कोल सो यति कुराहरू चाहिँ एप्लिकेसन्सहरू के के छ के अरे मेन्सन गर भनेर यो कुराहरू गर है सो दिस इज अल एबाउट क्याटलाइसिस यो युनिट पनि सकियो है सो अब तिमीहरूले राम्रोसँग पढ्ने काम बाँकी रह्यो मैले पढाउने चाहिँ अब यो कोर्स चाहिँ सकियो अब यसमा केही सोध्नु पर्ने छ भने सोध अब यसपछि के छ क्लास के छ केही सोध्नु पर्ने छ यसमा क्याटलाइसिसमा छ भने सोध छैन सर ओके देन सो इन माइ पार्ट द कोर्स हेज बिन नाउ ओभर सो प्लिज गो थ्रु द नोट्स द्याट यू ह्याभ बिन गिभन ओके have an adequate uh, preparation for your exam so i would like to wish you all the best uh, and i would like to uh, and suggest you to go through the old questions okay so shall we depart now then unsa